What's up YouTube, Jeff back from SamyGuru.com. Today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, we're talking about a double update. Uh, I do these videos where there's kind of a couple of small updates and we bundle them together into one video because it's not enough content for one, but I still want to let you guys know about them. So today we're going to be talking about two good lock modules, which are very popular good lock modules, Lockstar and Sound Assistant. They both got updates for compatibility with One UI 8 ahead of the One UI 8 rollout couple of key bug fixes, some UI changes, but definitely some things to be aware of as you start downloading these modules once you get the One UI 8 update in September, because the stable update is coming. Before we get started, I do want to let you guys know about a brand new partner that we have here at Sammy Guru, and that is Pure Talk. Right now you can save 60% on all of their one month plans. You can get their plans starting as low as $8 a month with this discount code. Go directly through our links, which will be in the pinned comment description. We wrote up a full article. They've got a three gig data plan for $8 a month, five for $10 a month, 10 gigs for 12, 15 gigs for 14, which I feel like is really good value, 25 gigs for 18, the unlimited plan with 20 gigs hotspot at $22, and the unlimited plan with 30 gigs hotspot for $26, which those unlimited plans are both phenomenal values, especially if you need or will use that hotspot um, that's included. Very, very good deal. You also get a $300 phone discount with this very top plan. Pure Talk, reliable alternative to the big carriers, also save a lot of money. They run on one of the fastest 5G networks here in the US. Again, check them out. You guys will be hearing more about them as we are now partnering with them as a channel and site partner over at Sammy Guru. That's in the pinned comment description below if you're interested. Okay, so let's take a look at these two updates. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with Lockstar first. Lockstar has been in the spotlight quite a bit because the brand new adaptive lock screen clock in One UI 8.0 has been causing quite a few bugs and problems. This version 7.0.01.10, August 21st, 2025 is the official rollout, though I did not get this until August 26th. 56.98 megs. You can see here the change log for this update. Fixed intermittent errors that may occur during package updates. There they're talking about updating things for other various components of good lock and resolve notification display issues on the tablet's horizontal lock screen. This is not a One UI 8 thing, but a problem with the Tab S10 series and some other, uh, the mid-range tablets where you would have display issues on the tablet's horizontal lock screen when you're using Lockstar with your notifications displaying incorrectly. So both of those have been fixed. They also fixed a error in the previous update, which I talked about, uh, where the adaptive lock screen clock would no longer work after setting it. You guys can see I'm using it, and you might ask, well, you don't have a person or an animal, how did you get it to work? Well, if you set this with an animal or a person as your wallpaper, which I did in a previous video, which I'll link below that I made about this adaptive clock, it will persist and you'll still be able to use it with any other wallpaper. And that's exactly how I'm using it. And it does work now with Lockstar. So if you have your Lockstar enabled you know, guide there, this any Lockstar features that you have, they now work with setting the adaptive lock screen clock as well. That was fixed in the previous update though. Uh, the next one is Sound Assistant. So let's go in and take a quick look at that one. Very, very useful module if you've never used it. Let's go to the store, take a quick look at the version number. This version 8.1.00.5, August 22 official rollout date. Also got this on August 26th, 18.86 megs. And here, a couple of changes. Version 8XX supports devices running One UI 8. So this is the first Sound Assistant module uh, update compatible with One UI 8. Uh, applied the One UI 8 uh, UI to the volume panel and applied stabilization code. So if you look in here, um, you'll see here, make your volume panel colors. We have the Flex UI, which I've talked about before. There really are no new themes or anything. Um, they've just made it so that when you go through and theme this, um, you're going to actually see. So if you choose one of these themes, I have the Flex panel on right now. You'll now see that it actually shows up in the One UI 8 style. So you see right here, this actually appears in One UI 8 style. And you can still customize all the same things. You can have a floating button just like you could before. Um, you know, there's basically all the things, expanded panel, Bluetooth metronome, show toolbar, app volume, and then they applied some stabilization code. Now I will mention, I made a video about this in the past, a killer feature that they have, which is something they added a couple of updates below, uh, previous to this, was maintain media volume while using navigation. And this basically allows you to keep your Spotify, YouTube music, whatever music app you use playing at the appropriate volume over your Google Maps turn-by-turn -turn directions. 
Now, one other thing I noticed in this version, I believe, I don't think this was in the previous version. You guys can let me know if, you, if I'm wrong. It shows you under these various settings, this little blue text that tells you more about the settings. So like here it says, maintain media volume while using navigation. It's on and it may not work depending on the vehicle manufacturer settings. So like I have a Range Rover and Range Rover can auto, you know, kind of override the setting and the media volume may still get turned down if you're using like the in car navigation, like Range Rover has its own. But typically I found if you're using Android Auto and you're using Google Maps turn by turn, this works great. So they added a couple of, you know, changes here. I really want to do another in-depth video on Sound Assistant at some point because they have changed so many things. You know, a lot of things over time have been added and modified and the UI has changed a little bit. Step volume is another great one to change how much the volume goes up or down when you press the volume buttons. Just a lot of great stuff inside Sound Assistant that you can do. But now if you modify your volume panel, you're gonna get One UI 8 design, which is what I have here because I am running the One UI 8 beta number six. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this double eight update video. Let me know if you guys got these updates, if you're enjoying them. Of course, as I said, you're not gonna really see too many differences until you get One UI 8. Check out the Mystery Box program and also check out our brand new partners, Pure Talk. They have 60% off their first month plans, all of their plans right now. Links in the description if you guys want to get in on those savings. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.